according to the left, you are a renta pastor. Right. And I'm I'm referring to a comment made by Pam Spaulding, who mm-hmm. is a lesbian activist yes. in your state. Right. She does not have kind words for you, Patrick. Right. She calls you a bigot, and when she found out that you were appearing at our press conference, she called you a re- you were among the so-called renta pastors. So she was echoing. Uh, the same sort of stuff we caught from the SPLC, which I remember to, to reiterate and remind people, they said that the white organizers, which I suppose would be Peter LaBarber and Matt Barber, we brought along, quote, a set of black pastors. Right. So, so Pam, who happens to be black, she she also down, she called you a rent pastor. How do you feel about that? Well, first of all, I love Pam. And uh, one of these days, I hope to invite Pam Spaulding maybe to lunch, and we can sit down and talk. I've never had the privilege of meeting her. Uh, I learned that we were at an event one time together, and she did not make herself known. And, uh, and of course, she knew, uh, if, if my information is correct, she was she's aware of who I am. I didn't know her. Uh, I love her. I'm praying for her, and uh, I, I wouldn't dare uh, uh, rail insults for insults or slurs for slurs. I will say that Christ died for Pam, and uh, Jesus will, will save her and will deliver her uh, from sin, and that uh, I, I have nothing but love for her, and look forward to an opportunity to sit down and, and look her in the eye and to talk to her. Now, as for the comment that I am a, a renter, a rent, a pastor, <laughs> oh man, listen, Peter, I've been called much worse, and uh, you know, my, my position is this, I don't mind I'm being rented for the cause of Christ. <laughs> I don't mind being rented for God's truth. I don't mind being used for God's truth. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I want to thank her for, for calling me a renter pastor. And, uh, and, I, and I say to the Lord, uh, you can rent me any time you want. I don't know why he would, though, since he owns me. Uh, but any time he would like to, for what, whatever cause he would like to uh, want me to be a part of, here I am, Lord. I'm, I, I, I'm like Isaiah. Here am I. Send me. Isaiah said those famous words in the sixth chapter of the book of Isaiah when God asked, whom shall I, whom shall I send and who will go for us? And the mighty prophet Isaiah said, here I am. Send me. So, Pam, uh, if you're listening, uh, I am. I'll be a renter pastor. I'll be a set <laughs> of black pastors. I'll be uh, whatever you want to call me, as long as I'm representing God's truth. You see, Peter, it's really not about us. You and I, we're just vessels to be used by the Lord. It is the cause. It is it is the truth of God uh, that we represent that is so important. So with the Pam Spaldings of this world, I wouldn't get into a shout and match with her. Uh, uh, I wouldn't uh, uh, visit her, uh, her 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 website or her her Facebook or whatever, and and uh, rail insult for insult. Uh, Pam needs Jesus, and when when Pam meets the Lord, um, that that yearning for a member of the same sex will change. And uh, you know what? She'd probably make a fantastic mother, and uh, and would would enjoy having a husband who was born male. Now, no Chaz Bono business. Born <laughs> male. And uh, uh, meet her, man, and rock her world in the name of the Lord. Well, you know, she's. Uh, you're, you're right about the hatred. You, you expect the hatred yeah. to come. And, and that, you know, this is a this is a perversion movement, folks. Mm-hmm. So let me just read uh, some of the excerpts here. This is Pam's House Blend is her website. The headline is NC, North Carolina bigot pastor Patrick Wooden. Invited to attend La Barbara Presser. She said our press conference was pathetic. They tried to say there were no media there. Patrick, even though you, you were interviewed by local TV news, yeah. she called you the, the black rena pastors yeah. that I brought along. And she called you, um, she said, <laughs> the presence of one of New- North Carolina's most visible marriage discrimination amendment proponents, Patrick Wooden of Raleigh's Upper Room Church of God in Christ, this pimp of bigotry, <laughs> wow, <laughs> made his utter made this utterly deranged, anus obsessive statement, and she's talking about our radio interview. So you are a pimp of bigotry, but you know this is what to be. It, it is yeah. a perversion movement, so we expect this kind yeah. of rhetoric. 